Previously on Strong Bad School Game for Attractive Pepple. Uh-oh, this is starting to turn into an unruly mob. And not the good kind like I started Strong Sans Poetry Readings. For real this time. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump. And now the conclusion of Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. Now look what you did, Doompa Loompa. The Trogdor machine is ruined. What I did? This thing hasn't worked for months. Besides, you broke it. Everybody saw. Look, this is no time to be pointing fat, doughy fingers. This is the time for you to figure out how you're gonna fix it. What the crap was that? It sounds like the fan's broken. You'll have to get it serviced. Serviced? Where am I supposed to get fan service around here? That may be the coolest thing that has ever happened. Oh, help! Oh, I gotta see this. Couch, I think you should be in your own video game. Couch Quest, the search for my butt. Ooh, it's time for the eight hour cartoon block of Vidalectric Saturday morning video games. This is the one where some real-world kids get sucked into a video game. Ridiculous. Ooh, it's... This is the one... Strong said still washing all the Dangerous 3 costumes, so we'll be ready for all the award ceremonies. Someday I'm gonna learn not to give the cheat a ride in the dryer on tacos and gravy night. My CGNU class reunion is in two weeks. I better get working on that novel. And marriage. And hair implants. And build that particle accelerator. I had to cheat distract Strongman while I snuck into his room and stole back my tarantula cardboard cutout. Of course, Strongman is also distracted by dim lights, grass growing, and the rotation of the earth. So I probably could have saved myself the trouble. The cheat? You know you gotta ask permission before you can play with or be around the fun machine. No, no. Especially when it's to put crap like this in there. Gel Arshi's Pro Fruit Border? That's the promo shovelware I got for sending in the proofs of purchase from all that gelatin I won in the race to the end of the race. Those things are never any good. Say it with me, the cheat. Licensed video games are never good. Don't look so down, the cheat. I'll let you watch me play lots of games later. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the tarantula black metal detector and shovel attachment. I bet that place with all the flying video games looks way cooler in person. Even without an on button, speakers, or any place to insert recorded media, this 7 track still has the best sound. Just listen to that thing resonate. Gotta be all kinds of cool stuff in here. Cool and moist. Best not think about that. Aha! Homestar's cell phone! I probably shouldn't have dialed the Ukrainian weather update line and left it on all these months. It's still very cold. I hope Homestar's got some crazy rollover minutes. Wait, I thought I set this pile on fire a few months ago. Talk about spontaneous regeneration. Spirits of 76? Whoa, this is that haunted historical adventure game that came with that awesome light musket peripheral. Oh man, where's the light musket? I gotta find that thing. 
Spirits of awesome. Oh man. No signal? You'd think a cell phone this giant would have a better antenna. I better wait until I'm in a wide open space. All right, bushes. Any of you start smiling and dancing, I'm gonna have to come out and put a stop to it. You have been warned. Our last best defense against Burnination. I gotta choke down the rest of that box of cheat commandos though, sometime. Just 23 more box tops and I can get the free Junkyard Submarine playset! Empty. Fridge, I think you should be in your own video game. Fridge Quest, the search for serving a purpose. You're finally here! Help me shore up our defenses in case he comes back! Hey, what happened to Trogdor? I expected to see him pummeling and or burninating you by now. I told him my plant Charlemagne was a defenseless peasant baby and threw it out the window. When he went after it, I locked the door behind him. That thing is out of control. You've got to get a new logic board and stop him. Stop him? No, no, it's pronounced sheer him on. Did you see where Trogdor went? He's still outside, just waiting for us to let our guard down. Did you see where- He's- So you finally found a way to put that dead plant out of my misery, huh? Charlemagne went out a true hero, defending our house with his final act. He would have wanted it that way. Charlemagne was a he? So you fi- Sh Sh What's this logic board you're babbling about? When you broke the machine... We never established who broke what. You must have damaged the 8-bit containment field. You'll have to call Vitelectrics for a replacement. It's the only way to get Trogdor safely back into the game. Why would I want to get him back in the game? Do you have any idea how long I've wanted to have my own dragon? If Trogdor gets free, the video game world and the real world will merge. Imagine hearing the repetitive monophonic music of 8-bit games wherever you are, every second, for the rest of your life! Yeah, I know! That sounds awesome! Alright, I'll fix the machine! How am I supposed to get one of those logic board things? You've got to call Vitelectrics and order a replacement. Don't you still have Homestar's phone that you stole a few months ago in your room? That's right! Man, it's hard to keep up with all the stuff I steal. I should start keeping a spreadsheet. Or a bedsheet. A friendsheet? Wait here, Junior. I've got a reanimated arcade machine to take care of. Just you? You'd have to be some type of idiot to take on Trogdor alone. What? You said all I have to do is replace some kind of logic board and everything would be fine. I just need to remember where I put the key to open the Trogdor machine, then grab a logic board somewhere and pop it in. How hard can that be? Plenty. But since you never listen to me and you're probably going to do it anyway, take this case key. It's the only way to open the cabinet. Wait, you've had my key that opens the Trogdor cabinet this whole time? Well, yes, but I was only holding on to it so you wouldn't lose it. Like you did with your baby blankie. Shut up! Shut up nine times! This key only works on the door to my Trogdor machine. And maybe any other Trogdor doors. Hey, it's one of my Vitelectric's good graphic Kadir's cards! Carpal Tunnel Connie. Wow, that is not funny. 
People must have had a different sense of humor way back in... Printed in 2006? Oh. Strong Sam knows better than to leave his books out where I can... Edit them. Strong Sam needs to make up his mind about these posters. I've had the same booger stuck to my wall since I was seven. This is where Strong Sam dreams of impossible things. Like having friends. I used to like playing Guess Who's Hiding Outside the Shower with the Knife with Strong Sad until that time he panicked and ran around the house all natural. Some things were not meant to be seen. Those cabinets are empty. We used the last of the toilet paper dressing Strong Mad up as Square Hotep, the vengeful mummy. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary! Man, those old ghost stories never work. in here. How does it do that? If I gaze too long into the abyss, the abyss gazes back at me and asks to be sanitized. Man, how come Strong Mad can't have Chinese stars and girly magazines hidden in here like all good older brothers? <laughs> Heavy. I know I don't want to look inside there, but I just can't stop myself. What? Where'd the painting go? Come on in ah! here. Come on in here. Man, that painting is creepy. Whoa, interactivity. I gotta replace this thing with a to do list. One, save world from dragon. Two, make to-do list. Three, buy socks. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a very special light switch rave. And the truck door comes in the night. I'm thinking of revising my no loafing policy. Maybe allow loafing during designated hours, or with the express written consent of Major League Baseball. Nah, the Lappy's battery lasts about 45 seconds these days. Those EGA graphics don't come cheap, man. Don't tell Stooley I said this, but he's getting a ferocious case of the SPEMALE BOTTOM STANK! I better keep these discs locked up in case any more video games come to life. Stage 1 complete. Stage 2 Emails. Ahoy, good graphic cateers! Oh boy, it's the Bit Electric's newsletter! Take a whiff of all the pixel packed fun coming your way from Bit Electric's. Celebrate the Fright Centennial with Spirits of 76 and its revolutionary new light musket attachment. The ladder building action of Mr. Fixit will have you riveted to your fun machine. Maybe include the missus with Lady Crate Ape from Vid Electrics for her. Experience the mild sports type gameplay of the Vid Electrics Half Athlon. And please, for the love of Pete, don't forget old favorites like Peasant's Quest and Stinko Man, not available in some territories. And kids, keep your eyes peeled for our collectible trading cards, probably buried or hidden near you. Another great newsletter! Sounds like Vid Electric's upgraded their computer! Singular. The last email I got from them was handwritten on a napkin and shoved under my door. Deleted! Strongman! What? Don't sneak up on me like that! Which cheat commando are you most like and why? Curious, Dugum Vermont. 
is this one of those lame internet personality quizzes that people are always forwarding me? Like, which character from The Color Purple are you? That thing said I was a Sealy when everybody knows I'm a Squeak! Anyways, my favorite Chief Commando would have to be Gunhaver. Because out of all the action figures I've melted with a soldering iron, he turned into the coolest abomination. Now I call him Twig, Rusty Nail, Some Dead Bugs, and Right Leg of Other Action Figure Haver. But my second choice would be any of the ruthless Toppelgangers! This sometimes good guys, most time bad guys, guns for hire! I don't even have their action figures, but I have a feeling they'd be real melty. Survey says... DELETED! <laughs> Oof! Can't get anywhere near that thing. Maybe Dumplo was right for once. You'd have to be some type of idiot to take on Trogdor alone. Some type of idiot. Some type of idiot. 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 Oh. Hey, Dogman, what you doing? Oof! I better cut that out. It's starting to knock the husk out of my naturally husky head. Dogman, don't look now, but look at that thing over there. Calm down, Homestar. It's just a rampaging Trogdor arcade machine. Never mind that. I'm talking about that walk em up video game over there. Ooh, I want to play it so bad. So, why don't you go over and play it? Because I lost my lucky video game, Cordal. What was all that yibber yabber about a lucky quarter? Lucky George has gotten me through a lot of tough jams. Street Marshal. Street Marshal 2, Street Marshal 2, Slightly Different Costumes Edition. That Cordo and I are arcade legends in five countries. Yeah, yeah, you're a pinball wizard. But why are you trespassing in Strong Badia? Because it's here. I can't find heads or tails of it, but something deep down in my gut tells me Lucky George is close by. Today's your lucky day, Homestar. You got to help me fix the Trogdor machine. I do? What do I do? What do I do? Just stand in front and try to play it while I open up the back. Oh, I'm all over it. I'm great at standing in front of things. Yep, you're a regular stand and stand. Now let's go. Can't, man. I gotta stay here in case my lucky quarter comes back. What if he shows up and I'm gone? He'll be so scared and lonely. He'll just be standing there holding the snow cone and quiet while everybody looks at him. Just go play the Trogdor machine already. It doesn't even take quarters. Homestar 10 knows two laws of the arcade. Don't try to eat the food on the screen, no matter how delicious it looks. And never play without your lucky quarter. Just go play the Homestar 10 delicious. All right, all right. I'll help you find your quarter. Thanks, Dogbad. You're the 11th best friend a guy could have. Where'd you have it last? Well, there was the pie-eating contest this morning, and then that hour I spent saying, Hey, Marzipan, guess what? To Marzipan. And then Coach Z bet me a moist Benjamin I couldn't catch the quarter in my mouth. And then I came here and must have dropped it. But if anybody can dig it up, you can. I hear you're the best digger in Cairo. I'll help you find that quarter. Oh boy, where is it? It's gotta be around here somewhere. It's always in the third to last place I look. Uh, what? I always like to look a few extra times to make sure I found it. But if anybody can dig it up, you can. I'll help you find that quarter. Oh boy, where is it? Yeah, I just saw it next to that Trogdor machine. Oh boy, wait here.
Nope, I don't see it. Whoops, my foot's untied. I'll help you find that quarter. Oh boy, where is it? I swear I saw it next to the Trogdor machine. I'm on it. Nope, I don't see it. Strong barrier. Population dire. Nothing like a derelict tire to bring down property values. The mighty flag of Strong Badia, a beacon of hope to all who love fences and dirt, and probably lots of chocolate. Session stand is still there. You're going to want to reinforce that support beam with a three quarters Henderson carbon fiber girder. Don't tell me my business woman. What are you? A business woman? Tell that machine to stop all that yapping. We're trying to get some work done here. Why aren't you behind the stand, Bubs? I got lots of bootleg VHS movies I want to trade in. We're closed for remodeling, Strong Bad. I gotta fix all the damage you did while you were making your movie. So why is Marzipong here? Protesting the construction? Hmph. Shows how much you know, Strong Bad. I'm making sure he does everything to code. I do have an architectural engineering degree, you know. How's the construction going, bubs? It'd go a lot faster if you'd stop bugging me and quiet down that dang old arcade machine. Keep on sticking it out, Sticky. is a safe distance. You'll see. Our fatty mills come scattered, smothered, covered, and humiliated. Oh. Please drive Mormons at the second window. Welcome to Bobos. Please hold. Uh, okay. How about... Not yet. Okay, now. Can I fake disorder, please? Car-esque, full autopilot, razor-tipped saw blade hubcaps, ejector hatch, and a top speed of zero miles per hour. Model shown with no equipment. I better write down where my Trogdor machine ran off to on my map, so I don't forget. Whoa, did you find my quarter? Lucky George, here boy! Oh, it's so close I can taste it. I'll just step over here so you can get to digging it up. Hey! There it is again. It must be on the move. Uh, Homestar, did you swallow your lucky quarter? Oh, of course not. And it certainly didn't taste anything like butterscotch. You must be using your walk. Let me try. Sounds like Lucky George is on the move. I'll find him. 
Whoa, did you hear that? It must be around here. Your so-called metal detector must be broken. I don't see it any- Boof! I don't want to get Homestar's digestive juices all over that. Cordial. Yo, Mushbrain! Check out what your slimy innards horked up! Lucky George! All right, SB. Let me at that Twogger machine! Ouch! It's a good thing Homestar's head is so soft, spongy, and, you know, empty. Homestar's using his head as a distraction! Now's my chance to fix the machine! Ow! Ow! Good thing the Vitalectric's phone number is the same as the secret code to get a zillion men in Awesome Cross! Vitalectrics. We use computers to make video games. Yeah, my Trogdor arcade machine just broke all of a sudden for no reason at all after I didn't do anything to it. And now it's running around all over the place beating people up and scaring everyone. Which is actually pretty cool, except now I can't play it. Uh, all our operators are busy, so you've reached our voicemail. If you want to hear about Vitalectrics' amazing catalog of all the best games, uh, say one. If you want to join the Good Graphic Kateers Club, say two. And what else? For our hint line, say three. One. From the item-grabbing excitement of Peasant's Quest to the side-style scrolling of Stinkelman 2086, Metalectrics has the best games for you and your family or inmates. Can I talk to an operator? Take a skinny dip into our back catalog with modern classics like Lady Crate Ape, Mr. Fix-It, The Spirits of 76, The Little Electrics half Athlon, and The Halls of Tragdor. Now with 32 kilohertz of real 3Ds. That's supposed to be kilobytes, and it's not really 3D. What did I tell you about interrupting me when I'm faking a voice recording on the telephone? You said not to do it. That's right. All three of the glorious bees. Oh no. Again? Look, we made a lot of games for all type graphics computers. So just buy them already. Look it up on our BBS. Two. Two. Right. The good graphic Kateers. Send in 13 proofs of purchase and all kinds of shipping and handling to join the Vitalectric's good graphic Kateers. You'll laugh till you puke with our radical new good graphic Kateer trading cards. Collect all four for a special surprise. Yeah, but... Hang on, gotta do the legal text. Surprise may not seem all that special to residents of California, Wyoming, and Puerto Rico. Look, man, I know this isn't voicemail. How do I fix my Trogdor machine? Processing. Command not recognized. Please say one, two, or three. I already... Say one, two, or three! Three... Hint line. Okay. If you're stuck in one of our award-winning adventure-type games, what you're gonna want to do is take every one of your items and then use it with every other item until you find the right answer. That's supposed to be a hint? I didn't fight in three console wars to take that attitude from Snot-Nosed Little... These hints are the best that 99 cents a minute can buy! Give me another hint. Uh, I mean, three. Oh, I don't know. Just use your clicker on everything. It'll solve itself eventually. Four. You chose option four. That's... Which one was option four? I don't... I didn't think we had a four. You're not paid to think! How am I supposed to run a fake voicemail and put up with your lip at the same time? Four! 
Two plus two, quattro, double double deuce. All right, all right, you got me. You say you got a problem with your trap door cabinet? You're gonna need to put in a new logic board. That'll fix it right up. We'll drop one off next to the concession stand nearest you. Finally! That'll be $149.95. How you wanna pay for that? Uh, the number you have reached is not in service. Please hang up and try again. Oh, sorry about that. I'll just... My new logic board from Vidalectrix! Now I just need to install this baby in the Trogdor machine, and we can end this episode early! If I plug this thing into anything other than the factory-approved slot in my Trogdor machine, I'll avoid the warranty! Ow, cut it out. Hey, good shot. Ow, ow. Man, smells like burning wet the cheat all down in here. You've reached out and touched Herb's doll one. Please, leave a message. Hey, Middle Electrics here. Our legal department wanted to remind you not to install that logic board around anything that's been exposed to radiation, as it could potentially cause the end of existence as we know it. Okay, thanks! Hey, Strongman, could you finish my game for me? I'm feeling a little woozy. Almost got it! Well, that was easy and extremely painful. I better go trick somebody into carrying this machine back into the basement for me. That sounded like it was coming from Strong Vania! Trogdor? No! Bad Trogdor! Heal! My poor kingdom! You were never supposed to burninate my countryside! I thought we were BFFs! That's burninating friends forever! Uh, hey, strong man. Is this a bad time? I wasn't crying! Wait, wait, Homestar? Where are you? I'm in your interface. Pretty cool, huh? Well, get out! I got enough to worry about without you getting all up in my hood like some kind of pop-up spam. Yeah, that's a problem. I think I'm stuck in this video game unless you can find a way to get me out. By the way, did you know that total load can enlarge your Vectroid region by 27%? Click here to find out how. Oh, first the burnination of Strong Bania, now I've got home spam. Trogdor, you mess with the wrong player character this time. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I have no other choice. I must. Kill Trogdor! Uh, anybody know how to kill a dragon? Hey, listen! Those guys in video games are always killing dragons. Have you tried getting into the video game and asking one of them? How am I supposed to get in the game? You want to get in the game? You gotta want it! Be the ball! Live your dreams! Believe in yourself! You never get a second chance to make a first impression. Now are you gonna get in there and show that dragon who's in, boss? Yeah! I can't heal you! But I'm gonna assume you said yeah. The acoustics in this video game are terrible. Strong Badia. Population. Tragedy. How could Trogdor burninate my flag? He and that snake holding a big knife are practically cousins! Poor tire! Actually, a burnt tire just might increase Strong Badia's property values. Hmm, 
another mysterious bush. Mysterious because it's not burning. Mmm. What was that all about? All kinds of weird goings on, Strong Bad. There was that big flickering and flashing in the sky, and then Marzipan went plumb loco balanco. See what I mean? Oh, is Marzipan having one of our episodes again? You just gotta pretend you're listening to her. Let me handle this. Yes, Marzipan, you're right, of course. Good point. Missed me! You call that a throw? Give her the old one-two. Hey! That was my favorite bush! I wonder what's behind there. Yep, the concession stand is still there. Help, strong man! Quit fooling around and come down here! What the? Who's fooling around? Mazapan went crazy and dragged me up here! Are you going to let that woman tell you what to do? I will if she tosses a crate at me every time I try to move. Those things hurt. You're at least twice as thick as marzipan, bubs. Just get down here. Just because I'm big doesn't mean I like getting a crate in the gut. Find some way to get rid of her. You got to help me fix that trog door machine, bubs. I think strong side broke the logic board or something. The logic board? Well, that explains everything! You must have broken the 8-bit reality containment field, causing our universe to combine with the world of video games! That's right! Strong Sad did that! Can you fix it for me? I mean, him? Oh, I've been fixing logic boards since before you were in double diapers! I can even make it so you can play those foreign type imported games! But I won't be able to do jack or squat until you do something about the crazy crate lady! Get down here and help me with this logic board! I already told you! I'll fix that board right up for you, no charge! I'll even make it so you can play imported games! Just get Mazapan away from me! I think I actually like Marzi Kong better this way! Well, I don't! Help me get rid of her! Marzi Kong was tossing these things around like she's got an infinite supply of them. Yo, Poopsmith! What? Psst, strong bad. Just between you, me, and the interface Leo? I don't think the Poopsmith's playing with a full bucket. He thinks he's Mr. Fix-It from that old construction worker game. Wow, that's old school. Well, fix it. How would you like to join me in my epic quest to, uh, rebuild reality? It's one heck of a fixer-upper! What is that? Buckshot? Chicken feed? A bunch of ellipses? Is that it? Do you need ellipses? Come on, Poop, Mr. Fix-It. Join my party. It'll be fun! That'll be hammers! Fine, I'll find you some... whatever that picture is. I've been in enough of these quote-unquote adventure games to guess that this thing's supposed to hold rivets. It's a mile-high pile of video game crates! Where were you guys when I needed a power-up in Hallway Warriors 3, huh? Whoa, I almost stepped in... Snake Boxer? Oh, I get it. I almost didn't see you there. What with you being two-dimensional and all. You know, your blocky fists of fury can come in pretty handy. Wanna join my party to save reality? Oh, 
I'd bet most of Strong Sand's savings that this crate has something interesting in it. Well, that's not opening. I'm getting dizzy just looking at that mountain of power-ups, ammo, medkits, extra lives, shields, coins, bananas. <laughs> Maybe a little nauseous. Intrig? Intriguing. Or dare I say, riveting. You can usually find Sonora card gauge reading to the pigeons behind here. But now there's just all these burnt chicken bones. I guess Trogdor must have scared them. Oh. Well, if it isn't the Algebros, the entertaining fireball chucking stars of Math Kickers. What's the total, Brodels? Yeah, I pretty much gotta kill a dragon to get all you guys back where you belong. Wanna come with? Man, it's worth it just to shut those guys' text boxes up. At least Trogdor spared the stick. I don't know what we'd do without you, my pointy little pal. At least... Oh, no way! I told you we should have taken the Space Jersey Turnpike! Is that... the Limousine Space Machine? Well, all right! Oh my gosh, Limousine Louie, I love you! Will you sign my UI window? What happened to you guys? We were jamming through space looking for hot Bablians to beam aboard, when all of a sudden, squiggly do! There was a bright flash and we ended up here! Oh no, what can we do to help you walk, walk on? This bus ain't going nowhere unless we can get a tow! Is the space machine a-rockin'? Can't rock the space machine without hot Bablians! You gotta get us towed out of here so we can start beaming them back on board! No way I'm getting that bus out of there without professional help. Change car-esque, full autopilot, razor-tipped saw blade hubcaps, and snakes? I don't remember adding snakes. Why didn't I remember to add snakes? Note to self, best place for keeping a tangle of riding snakes? Not my pants. Great. And now, the house is haunted. g g, -g ghosts You go on ahead without me, big guy. I'll stay back in the van with the cheat. One, you don't have a van. Two, I wish I could get rid of you that easily. And three, these aren't even the groundskeeper wearing a sheet covered in phosphorescent paint kind of ghosts anyway. They're from Spirits of 76! That Bicentennial-themed game where you're a big spooky pixel running around a black screen picking up other spooky pixels. Are they... gulp... spooky ghost pixels? No mail? There's always cool stuff in or around my mailbox. I blame Trogdor for this. Oh, 
Ah, I was wondering where the box for my Lady Crate Ape game had gone to. I mean, Strong Sad's Lady Crate Ape game. That sucks, and he sucks too, because of it. How am I supposed to see anything in here? Leave this place! Ow! Why don't you try doing that to my face, stupid ghost? I think they just did do that to your face. No, they didn't. Besides, it was too dark to tell. If I could just find that light musket peripheral that came with the game, then we'd see who's knocking whom out of whom's house. How am I supposed to see anything in here? Leave this place! I need to find that light musket! Get in the game! Alright! Let's do this! I'm up! Nobody saw that! It's cool! Whoa! What is this place? It's like every cool video game ever made! All in one place! Am I in heaven? Hey, Dogman! No, clearly not heaven. Word on the street is you're trying to take down this Trogdor character. That's right, Homestar. You were there when I said it out loud twice. Shh! Never know who might be listening. I hear there's a regular Trogdor killing expert inside Peasantry. Fella by the name of Rather Dashing. Tell the H-Star man sent you. Peasant's Quest? You mean I get to go inside the best-selling video computer TV game of all time? Beyond this door, a world of short-panted adventure awaits! Are you ready to experience the realm of peasantry firsthand? Ready? I've only been waiting for this for, like, my entire life! Then let's do this! But first, thou must answer mine riddle! What is Paul Revere's favorite ice cream flavor? What? What kind of question is that? Who are you, anyway? I am the Copy Protector! Use the code wheel and Invisiglasses to aid you on your quest. The answer is on page 38 of your manual. Manual? This game's like a billion years old! I don't have the manual! Then thou art screwed! You don't need a manual, strong man. Isn't that Spirits of 76 game back at your house? All you got to do is figure out what Paul Revere's ghost looks like. Why don't you just go see him in person? What am I supposed to do with that giant wheel thing? Tis all very simple. Rotate the wheel to match up the Vidalectric's character with the item he holds in the game. Like it's shown on page 38 of your manual. Then use the included Invisiglasses to read the answer to mine riddle. How am I supposed to get some Invisiglasses? They haven't made those since Thy Dungeon Man Zero. No text edition. Then thou art well and truly doomed. The secret art of looking at things through red translucent cellophane has been lost to the mists of time. I've got the answer to that riddle. Layeth it on me. Uh, vanilla? Nice try, hotshot. No dice. It's one of those colonial ghosts from Spirits of 76. Can't tell which one, though. That, of course, is an all-natural 100% beef frank. Hey, no fair! This so-called code wheel is broken. Nobody can read that. Ooh, tough break, strong man. 
I don't think they even make those invisi glasses anymore. Oh man, where am I gonna find something red and see-through? If you need something red and see-through, I have just the thing. Homestar, if you're about to show me a skimpy negligee, stop right now. Oh, never mind. I can't read it without those red see-through glasses that used to ship with the game. Yawn Trinket. Text. For when drawing six pixels takes too much time. A thatched roof cottage in its rare, unburninated state. A that I don't remember any of it Electric's game with tea bags. One of them old feather pens. It's a box with a line in it. Maybe a lantern? Looks like one of those old-timey keys nobody uses anymore. A big pile of pixelated riches. All those spirits of 76 ghosts look the same until you meet them in person. I think I recognize this character. Tragdar, maybe? It's one of those colonial ghosts from Spirits of 76. Look like Kid Speedy. That's the Jonka from Peasant's Quest. He's only in the game for like five minutes. How'd he get on the wheel? Wow, that dungeon man looks a lot beefier here than he does in text. Stinko Man 20XT6. Yes, I believe I am asking for a challenge. Region locked. Oh man, what kind of crappy alternate reality can't play imported video games? Still region locked. A world of spiky blue-haired wonder remains tantalizingly out of my grasp. They say Trogdor's lair was behind some pass through the mountains. Have you seen anything like that? Character not found. I guess the Trogdor game would be pretty lame without the Trogdor. The Videlectrix Half Athlon, featuring the finest top tier Soviet athletes that Videlectrix could afford to license. Sounds half athed, alright. Coach Z! Strong man, get the- Man, that looks like it hurt. I gotta do that again. As I was saying... Strong man, don't let- Mmm, that looked painful. Man, those scorpions look angry. If they only had more pixels, you could see the venom dripping from their tiny pinchers. Why do you keep... Oh! <laughs> I could do this all day! Hey there, Gigantor! I put shot! Oh boy, oh boy! Strongman, I'm too embarrassed. Could you get me an autograph? An autograph? It's just Strongman! That's not just any Strongman! He's been possessed by the 8-bit spirit of Puchnia Shotsky. Honorable mention shot put semi-finalist of the 1982 Winter Olympics. He's my greatest sports hero. That Vidalectics could afford to license. I always suspected there was a Soviet shot putter trapped inside Strong Mad's body. So, big guy, wanna join my party to save the world from Trogdor? Bipod shot! 
I win trophy! Dang. Oh, uh, come on, what do you need a trophy for? Bye, pod shot! I win trophy! Alright, jeez! Don't get your sports bra in a bundle! Coach Z really went hardcore on the track! Can't wait to see Homestar swimming laps in that pool of lava! Let me in, Coach! That pool of acid took me by surprise, but I got this lava thing under control! It's all mental, you see. You're all mental! And the obligatory lava level! Hey, what's this do? Checkpoint? And he sticks the landing! USA! USA! And the obligatory ice level. Less friction? More penguins. Oh, 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 oh. That was easier than I thought. I wonder why Strongman didn't just come over and take it himself. I put shot! He's been concentrating on his shot put game at the expense of his vine swinging and penguin hopping performance. Let's hope that doesn't hold him in the finals. Ah! Uh Oh, 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 oh. oh, come on, what are you but all right. All right, snake boxer, do your stuff. Why won't he hit that? Guy's got a thing for snakes, strong man. Don't ask him about it. He gets real quiet and does that thousand yard stale. Oh yeah. He won't go for it. Snake Boxer may only do one thing, but he's the best at it. The algebras are only good at math. They're not really that good at math either. I better not use my snakes here. They could slither away. Alright, comrade Shotsky. On behalf of the Videlectrics Gaming Association, I present you with this trophy for superior half athery in the Videlectrics half athlon. Yeah, yeah, ich bin ein Donuts. You join in my party or what? Da. Ah! Hmm. Hey, red square, or er, blue square. It's on the shot put! Space Circus Catastrophe? No way am I going in there! Those evil space clowns are bad news, man! I love those performing bears, though! No! Down, boy! Down! Oh, he's already gotten attached. Now I gotta keep him. Jell Arcee's Pro Fruit Porter? That's the game the cheat was wanting to play in my bedroom. I wonder if it's any less lame when you see it on the inside. A gel Arshi game looking like this. What are you doing back here? Nobody's allowed backstage without a chaperone. Look, having to talk to you is no bowl of cherries for me either. Cherries? Where? I love 
scary. Anyways, as I was saying, I thought I was jumping into the game. How come you're just standing around here, not not loafing? That's because nobody's playing the game. I'm in attract mode. It's made out of plywood and duct tape. I knew this game was cheap, but where's the craftsmanship, people? That's why I never go backstage for the show. It ruins the magic. Hey, I can see your house from here. No, Homestar, you're only supposed to say that when you're way high up. Oh, wait, I really can see my house from here. We must be inside my own fun machine. It's kind of a creep take knowing Jell Arshi can look out into my bedroom. So, Freak Show. Hey, kids. Come to watch me get radical on the half pipe? No, I'm looking for anybody to help me get farther in the video game so I can kill a dragon. Well, keep looking. Around here, I'm in charge. I'm the god. And I ain't leaving till somebody hits the kill, kill, kill screen. Hey, Strongbag, what's a kill, kill, kill screen? Oh, that's when you play a video game for so long and get a score so high and have a life so depressing that you break the video game. Oh, hey, Strongbag, why is the sky blue? Go away, Homestar. You only get one question per day. So, Creepzilla, this game sucks and you know it. Then how come nobody's been able to beat it yet, huh? Nobody! It's the professor's semi-robotomatic pineapple gun. So, Professor Pineapple, got any ideas on how I can take out Trump? What? Oh, what a ripoff! He's not even real! He's just a prop! Sometimes, after the game shuts down, I can hear him talking to me. He tells me to do things. It's Jell Arshi's totally fake nemesis, Professor Pineapple. He can't beat me! Nobody can! Difficulty slider? No wonder this game is so boring. Now it's set to high. Hi, I'm Jell Arshi. Red-flavored, fluffy puff, translucent, dessert-related substance. That's for the product placement at the end of every level. Gotta push those units. I'd like to push stupid units. I have yet to meet the random lever that I could not push for no reason. I better find a place for the Jell Arshi game on here, so I know to avoid it. Strong bad school game for attractive people? I hope that's one of those games with like, guns and swords and setting things on fire! And not one of those boring, use pie on cat type jobs. Okay guys, I realize I'm asking a lot from a bunch of pixelated snakes with, at most, a dozen or so lines of code between them. But could you just sit here on this crate and, uh, slither for a while? Cool, thanks! In the slimy green corner, weighing in at, uh, 800 pounds! Is a crate covered in snakes! And in the blue corner, weighing in at 128 pixels, is the Flatland Flattener, the Asp Assassin, the Python Pounder, the one and only Snake Boxer! That was quick. Those snakes must have taken a dive.
All right, the light musket peripheral from Spirits of 76, complete with photonic ramrod and frequency frizzin. With this baby, I'll be able to blast wavelengths of liberty at all sorts of stuff. can't send the performing bear out into the wild for no reason. When he's ready to leave, I'll know. How about it, guys? There's probably an ancient relic in there or something. And I know you snakes love that kind of stuff. Round one, fight! My very own EGA question hat! I'll be able to do all kinds of stuff in this. Look stone, get brooch, talk barkeep. The possibilities are endless. Eat photons, limey ghosts! Cheat! Did you unleash vengeful spirits into the house again? <laughs> you removed the cartridge while it was loading and trapped us here forever! Save, Save us! us! Save me! Uh, yeah, us! Forever, huh? We'll see what old Musky here has to say about that. Your gun is useless against the sprites of liberty! Sever it rendering lair, Jack! Deal with it! You must return the items we have lost! Wow, it's an enormous... feather! I'm learning so much about history right now! Don't be such a baby to cheat! They're just 8-bit ghosts! Wow. Don't be so- wow. I'm not playing any games while the house is still haunted. I don't want anybody sneaking up behind me. I dropped mine into the bay! And then I invented beer! Or something! Why do you video game types always talk in lame clues? Why don't you just tell me what you're looking for? We get more screen time this way! Triple scale for each spoken line of dialogue! What he said! I dropped my- That's not the item I'm looking for! Ahem! <laughs> I could give you a clue if I weren't so thirsty! Okay, I've got no idea what this is, but I bet I'm gonna need it. Looks like a box with a line in it. Maybe a lantern? Hmm. 
No way am I going near the Lappy while the house is haunted. I could get sucked into the screen or something. I heard that's how the bad graphics go started. I unlock the door to electricity using a kite. It's a metaphor. Work with me here. Kicked out on your keister again, huh? Dang old ghosts got the best of you? Shut up! This gun's enough to take out all those stupid ghosts! Yeah, but don't forget to file it. This one time, I was using it to store my tea. All gray with honey, no sugar. And then the doorbell rang. Don't rang. make me come in there! It's an old timey key. Just look at that resolution. Strong said still washing all the danger bodies. One if by land, two if by sea. Bring one to me. Hey, great! My lantern! Thanks, man! I'm Paul Revere! Hey, I wanna ask you a question. Yeah, not to be rude, but I got a split. These British people are coming, and I really should tell everybody about it. Thanks again for the lantern! Once again, I am Ben Franklin. Thank you, citizen. Mars has been throwing those crates around like they're going out of style. Wonder where they're all going. My single greatest claim to fame's the fancy way I signed my name. You have found it! I am free once again! I am John Hancock. Make sure your family's insured in the event of an emergency. That's right, stupid ghost! Shoo! 
Go off and show up as unexplained blurs and mysterious photographs or something. Ghost photography ain't no joke, Strongman. You too can take pictures that look like you sneezed on them. Gel Arshi's Pro Fruit Border? The cheat must have changed the cartridge without turning the machine off first. Even though it clearly says on the box that doing so can result in loss of data and or the physical manifestation of spectral entities. Well, might as well see if this game is worth the zero dollars I paid for it. Do, do, do. Wipe out. Okay, let me see how this game works. Time to shred some serious air with my totally gelatinous bromide gel arshi! Do, do, do. Wipe out! And I'm in your house! You tired old snacks can- ah! What have you done to my legs? Ah, make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! Just kidding! You tired old snacks can go to bed! My fruitacular taste turns everything red! Yeah! Just join my party already! Sure thing, kid! I'll follow you everywhere! Man, I hate that- Guy. No way. A lone space marine against an unstoppable army of zombie elves on the beaches of Normandy. His only weapon? Email. What gives in Peasant's Quest? It says that nobody can beat Trogdor, but I thought Stormbad could beat anybody, so my question is who would win in a fight you are Trogdor? Manny. Manny? Manny who? Manny emails are better written than this one? Many people have asked me to use the shift key, but I refuse to listen. Of course I would win. I birthed Trogdor. It's like how your dad always shellacks you at tennis even when he's 70 years old. He knows all your moves. 
You wouldn't know it to look at him, but that beefy arm has no backhand. And his net game is practically non-existent. I could easily take him in straight sets. Oh, wait. You asked about a fight with a dragon that breathes fire. Hmm. Maybe I should come up with some kind of non-tennis-related plan to defeat that guy. d lee Tang. Dear Strongbat, I think you have the best taste in video games and are never wrong. You're my new best friend. But my brother just got this new game where you can't die at all. You just get stuck. I think this is boring, but what do you think about games where you can't die? John Platts. Ack! A video game where you can't die? No, that doesn't sound boring at all. It sounds... <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. I nodded off there. But seriously, what are you supposed to do in a game where you can't die? Pick up things? Talk to people? Talk to people about things you just picked up? Let me be first in line not to play that game. Sometimes I try to die in games that don't even let you die. Like solitaire! I swear, if I keep playing two cards of the same suit on top of each other, that one-eyed jack will jump out and stab the crap out of me! El Delito Grande! Special delivery! It's red! Just like me! I totally didn't see that cardboard box before! How did you do that? It's cause I'm an abomination! And now, I'm gonna follow you everywhere! A good graphic Kateer's car! This one is for the 360 flapjack to junk in the trunk trick for Pro Fruit Border. Hey kids, this store is red like me! Now here's a thing you couldn't see! Hey, pretty cool! Now get back in my inventory! Don't make me go back in there! Relax, creep show. I don't like it any more than you do. It's Stinkleman's shiny round hands! Hmm, I wonder if they can shoot energy balls, or energy bolts, or energy blasts! Here's a wall that's colored red. What's in this box fills me with dread. What's in the box? What's in the box? That's just needlessly creepy. Back into my inventory. It's the box for Jell Archie's Pro Fruit Border. The free game I got for sending in a bunch of proofs of purchase. Free is right. Free of fun. Looks like my score was so high, it broke the game! Step aside, pudding snacks! I'm on the loose and I'm bursting with red fruit-like flavor! Tempura Prawn Crunch. Tempura Prawn Crunch. Hops and Icy Cold One flavored. Yes! This has got to get me into the Trogdor game! 
A Trogdor t-shirt consolation prize? All right, I give up. Cool shirt, though. Pralines and burninated peasant. Almond fudge ripple. Chocolate and wet beaver pelt. Pralines and burninated peasant. None. Paul Revere was lactose intolerant. That's enough, freak show. You can't control me! I'll be back! I'll be back! Dost thou have yon answer for mine riddle? What is Paul Revere's favorite ice cream flavor? I've got the answer to that riddle. Layeth it on me. Tempura prawn crunch. That is incorrect. Dost thou have... What is Paul Revere's favorite ice cream flavor? I've got the answer to that riddle. Layeth it on me. None. Paul Revere was lactose intolerant. That is correct. Welcome to the realm of peasantry. Check this place out! I'm in a video game! Oh man, does that mean I can bash stuff with my head to find coins? Ow! Guess not. Hey, it's rather dashing! Star of Peasant's Quest! Looking blocky and pixely as ever, Rav. Say, I always wanted to ask, what's up with the short pants? These things are incredibly comfortable. I'd like to see you get rock or throw baby while wearing long pants. Fair enough. Hey, I need your help. I need you to help me find some kind of special sword and kill Trogdor so I can keep Homestar from popping up on my face all the time. Congratulations. You won a free MP3 player. Click here for low, low weights. Trogdor? I'm not going anywhere near that dragon. Hasn't anyone told you? He's indestructible! Not even the mighty Trog Sword can smite him! That's not what I heard! You must have been doing it wrong! I suppose it's possible that I was simply smiting him in the wrong spot. Tales have been told about weak spots in the beast's scaly armor, but I've never seen any. So, Trogdor has weak spots, eh? If he does indeed have weak spots, they are hidden well. In all of my attempts, I've never so much as scratched a consummate V! So, if he does it all of V. Where can a peasant brother lay his hands on a trog sword? I got trog doors to smite. Well, normally it's on display at the inn, right here in Peasantry. But recently, a strange burst of energy swept the sword away to a foreign land of floating platforms and slightly higher resolution. Soon after, another stranger looking quite a bit like yourself visited Peasantry asking each of us for a challenge. Wait, no. Stinko Man? My favorite Japanese cartoon video game version of me? I love that guy! He desired a challenge, so I sent him on a quest to retrieve our sword back from whatever strange realm it ended up in. I assume he's still there, for he has not yet returned. Before, when you were talking, I wasn't paying any attention. What did you say happened to the Trog Sword? The one you call Stinko Man is attempting to reclaim it from a magical world where platforms mysteriously hang in the air and extra men are extremely hard to come by. Platforms, eh? Looks like I'm gonna have to find a way into the Stinko Man game and get the trunk sword before he does! Hey, why don't you come with me to kill Trogdor? I could use someone as kindling, I mean a distraction, while I slay the beast. Sorry! But I'm no longer in the dragon-slaying business. 
Getting burninated over and over again is not a very rewarding career path. And it hurts. Real bad. So I've shifted my focus to princess saving. Yeah? How's that going for you? Honestly, business has been a bit... slow. I've yet to meet a single damsel in distress. Come on, help me kill Trogdor. It'll be fun. I think not. No more attempts at dragon slaying for me. In this game, I'm dedicated to the rescuing of princesses only. Princesses? Look around, man. Nothing but pixely peasants in this place. My time will come. I'll wait patiently until then. The king of town? How'd he end up in peasantry? Roar! Growl! That's no king of town. That's the dreaded Munchox the Devourer! Ah! It's too terrible! Well, come on. He's not that scary. Not him! You trying to pronounce Devourer! I never in a million years thought I'd say this, but... That's a pretty cool tale you got there, King of Town. Roar! Growl! Aha! I got the... um... whatever this is supposed to be. That must be that scorpion monster's cave. I don't want to know what kind of low-res horrors he keeps locked away in there. Roar! Roar! Oh, crap! Good thing I always ignore the text in these games. Otherwise that box might discourage me. Hi, Trogman. Did you find the Trog sword and kill Trogdor yet? No, I didn't. I mean, you're still in that window, right? Hey, are you eating? Yeah, those food just lying around all over in here. Bananas, turkey legs, cherries, power dots. I'm gonna ignore that. Now, who in here's gonna tell me how to kill Trogdor? I don't know, I never played this game. But I'm sure there's a cave or volcano or lair around here somewhere. There usually is in this kind of game. That's the ham, gotta go. What the CGA are these things? I'm gonna guess pebbles. Or chicken feed. Ball bearings? That's weird. It's perfectly normal to see cardboard boxes filled with weird things scattered around all over the field back home. But in peasantry? A pair of pixelated elf boots. I hope I don't have to press right arrow to start walking, and then press right arrow again to stop walking when I wear these things. It's a good graphic Katir collector's card. Anti-social Angus. I guess that's funny. Almost. Maybe. No, not at all. I can't get ye flask. I still can't get ye flask. Okay, try everything a couple times. It just might work. Except, no. Forget it. That thing is ye dead to me. Level 4 spell of snake summoning! Huzzah! Smash crate. What do you want to smash the crate with? A snake boxer. Cool, an all-purpose med kit. With this, I can cure the sick and heal the lame. Maybe even the ultra-lame like Strongsad. Hi, decrepit old person! Hello, youngster. What can I do for you? 
What's with that ye flask over there? You probably wish you could get that. Well, yeah, I do now. What do you need ye flask for anyway? I don't know. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Just pick up all the crap that's lying around hoping it'll be useful for some stupid thing later? Uh, you can't get ye flask. Okay, fine. I'm just saying. Don't leave ye flask just lying around in plain view if you don't want people trying to pick them up. Not cool. What's with that? You p Not be useful. Uh, okay, mop. This place is awesome. If I ever open up a bed, breakfast, and biker bar, it'll look just like this one. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. The inn itself doth make little money. That's why I had to open a carriage tow and repair service as well. Should you need a carriage repaired, just come see me. How's business? Could be better, youngster. I'm hoping the repair shop helps bring in some extra cash. My inn patrons keep running out without paying their bill. Say, you seen a dragon around here? Big beefy arm, scales and teeth that look like consummate V's. You mean Trogdor? I haven't seen the beast since the mysterious rumblings in the sky roused the dragon from his lair. That's cool. I'll find him and hack him to bitch somewhere else then. I'm afraid that's not possible. Trogdor's only vulnerable when he's in his lair. Your best bet is to wait there for him to return. But alas, the lair is being guarded by an evil princess. You don't hear too much about evil princesses, do you? It's all evil queens, wicked stepmothers, and hot witches, mostly. Where'd you say I need to be to kill Trogdor? If you can manage to get past the evil princess, bring the Trog Sword to the lair of the beast and defeat him there. It's the only way. These games always have some kind of weapon you need to kill the dragon. Have you seen anything like that, old man? I used to have the legendary Trog Sword on display to honor the many lives of rather dashing lost to Trogdor. But it was swept away during the recent rumblings in the sky. So where's that Trog Sword now? I can't say for sure, but another feller came through here not long ago looking for it for some type of challenge. I think he may have been one of those foreigners, what with his spiky blue hair and fancy jumping boots. Hey, I got a job for you. Huzzah! So where is this carriage? Uh, it's pretty far away from here. As far as the peasantry woods? You better just come with me. I think that inn might get more business if it had a functioning door. Nothing worth seeing in there anyway. Abandoned- Hey, I'm trying to find- Excuse me, I- Hey, you! Trogdor Slayer looking for help! <coughs> I'll give you a dollar if you stop for a second! Nothing? You're lost, man! Help! <coughs> Forget it, man. Those guys are stuck up. They think they're so cool with their burninating heads. Hark! Who goes there? Leave this place now, lest I, the evil wizard Slushfund, be forced to cast an evil spell on you. Uh, I think they mixed up your order at the costume palace, prom queen. They must have made a mistake. It's fate. I was sitting in my room alone. As always. When a blinding flash of light knocked me off my feet, I woke up here in the land of peasantry, obviously dressed as a powerful evil wizard. So who exactly do you think you are? As I told you, puny knight, I am the evil wizard, Slushfund. Yes, of course. Evil <laughs> wizard. What? Uh, hate to break it to you, slosh fiend, but you're clearly a princess. No, I'm not. I'm an evil wizard. Just look at my wizard hat. Oh, your evil wizard hat? You mean the one that is pink and sparkly? I don't care what you say. I'm an evil wizard. It's my job to guard this lair and give out quests. Okay, wizard, let's see some magic. 
I'll not waste my powers entertaining you. That's what I thought. I'll just be scooching on past you now. Oh, yeah? Magic missile! Whoa, it's warm. Feels like I've been hit with, like, a microwave breakfast sausage or something. Do the magic thing again. Oh, fine. Ah, toasty and nutritious. So, evil wizard smush friend, come to terms with your feminine side yet? That's Slushfund, and I'm a wizard, not a princess. That's not what the town folk say. What town folk? Like everybody, man. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Well, if anybody tries to get past me in the Trogdor's lair, they'll find out what a powerful wizard I really am. Princess! Wizard! Princess! Wiz Princess! I got this! So, evil wizard smush friend, come to- That's slush food. That's not what the ta- What ta- Like ever- Well, I am. Step aside, little, uh, sister. Strongbad's got a trog door to smite. No way! What? I am evil wizard Slushfund, bouncer of Trogdor's lair. And you're not on ye guest list. Seriously, let me into Trogdor's lair. I will guard this lair until my second or third to last breath. Hey, Strongbad, I found a screw in here. You know what it's for? Uh-oh. Uh, don't worry, SB. I'll get that fixed right up. I really gotta get in there. Well, you'll have to get past me first. Okay, Princess Quest Giver. Hit me with your best quest. Very well. You must venture deep into the Forbidden Forest and retrieve thy amulet of ancient summoning from the ravenous Munchox. And what do I get in return? First, bring me the item. Then we'll talk about your reward. Hey, what was that stupid thing you wanted me to get? <sighs> Behold, the quest item! Oh yeah, that thing. On second thought, I don't want to waste a med kit on Strong Sad. He looks plenty healthy enough. I'm just huge boned. Nah. Uh, no. Okay, Princess Salad Fork. That doesn't even sound anything like Slush Fund. I got that quest item that I don't actually remember what it's called. Now let's talk reward. Um, are you sure this is the quest item? Of course. It looks just like the thing you showed me. Hmm, I guess you're right. Behold, the quest item is recovered. Thank you, brave adventurer. You've done such a fantastic job that I shall reward you with another quest. Are you serious? Return to the realm of the Munchox and bring forth to me the Sigil of Dark Dampening. This better be worth it, Lady dumps -a -lot. Aha! I got the... um... whatever this is supposed to be. Now I gotta find a place for the Peasantry Inn on my map. Let's see if I can really heal the lame. What did I put in those things? That feels great! Tell you what though, that'll teach me to carry around this bowl of scorpion food in my back pocket. Hey 
Hey, strong bed. Great day for a half athlon. What did you do to the track, coach? Ain't it grand? I've been trying for years to get to host the Vitelectric's half athlon. And it's finally come true! Uh, do you need another med kit, coach? Or maybe something to come down off the last one? That bright light in the sky was a signal! I knew it was my duty to recreate the half athlon, right down to the lava pit and the ice level. How does this half athlon work, anyway? It's easy! You just gotta activate that first checkpoint, swing over the lava pit, Navigate the chicane through the angry scorpions, get through the arctic blasts and kill our penguins, and pick up the trophy! If you can get that trophy back to the checkpoint, you win! You win what? Uh, I don't know. But the winner is you! That's gotta be good! Why were you carrying a big ball of scorpion food? To seed the track, obviously! Can't have a proper half antelon without a pack of ravenous scorpions now, can ya? Sure wish I had one of those last week when the cheat dared me to drink all that drain cleaner. Keep on checking my points, checkpoint. Alzi oop. Scorpion food. Hmm. Man, those scorpions are really honed in on this stuff. Good thing there's an ice level between us. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! No! Get him off! Man, those scorpions are nasty. I almost got killed out there! Actually, you did. Get out of town! Yup, the big sleep, the dot nap, the brown shimmy. Lucky for you, this video game checkpoint brought you back to life. Sweet! I'm immortal! But what about all my cool stuff? You can't take it with you. You only get to keep the stuff you had at the last checkpoint. Crap! Alzi oop! Oh, 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 oh. Picking up the scorpion food again. Hope I don't get stung. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! No! Get off! Ah, oh, did I die again? Yup. You popped up on my interface just to say, yup. Yup. Okay, comrade, let's see what you can do. Chop up? Hey, it's round, isn't it? Now get putting. Put, shot, shot, put. Zavago! Alzi, oop. Time for another mighty heave, mighty heaver. Not hot shot puts for man. What? He said, no, that shot put is broken. Stupid flimsy balls of scorpion food. I hope this scorpion food appreciates all the stinging and walking into the light I'm going through. Okay, now can you maybe remember what I'm holding? If you wanna die right, you gotta do everything yourself. Pot shot shot pot! Lysenko!
Bad. Whoa, I could swear I was just stung to death by low red scorpions. Oh, you were. But your video game checkpoint brought you back to life. Cool. And hey, I've still got the scorpion food. Uh, maybe I should just get out of here. I hope I get into one of the good episodes this time. What am I supposed to do with this? This isn't like any carriage I've ever seen. Oh, come on! It's a space carriage! That's the best kind of carriage! Ah, uh, what do I know? I'm just a simple peasant. Pyrotechnics! Well, alright! Just point us at the Babelians and let us do our thing! Uh, what type Babelians you guys looking for, anyway? Hey man, limousine don't discriminate. We'll beam up any type of lady who wants to party! I don't know what you got in mind, SB, but that ain't no Babelian. That's a Bubslian. Fly, my hair metal rockers! Be free! Moderately hot Babelian off the port bow! Oh crap! It's that crazy chick from the Battle of the Bands! Ow! Stop throwing those crates, pretty mama! Wow! Thought she'd never leave! There you go, Strong Bab. Just stick that back in the machine and you can play whatever game you want. Even those crazy foreign type games. Gotcha! Homestar! I thought once you fixed that thing, I'd be rid of him for good. Ain't gonna be that easy. As long as Trogdor's out running around burning everything up, the machine can't be fixed. You're gonna have to take him out old school style. We're talking medieval old school. And you ask me. Just a reminder. Now I'm gonna see if I can hitch a ride on that Babelian space bus. Wait up, guys! <coughs> now I want to be the guy, too! Uh, coming hey, through! Watch you! Whoa! I just got an extra life! I must be even more bodanical than I thought! What the... What am I doing down here? I'm supposed to be up there where all the runny, jumpy, shooty action is! Hey, be quiet down there! I'm right in the middle of a challenge! Hey, bad guys! Check out these moves! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Stinko Man's still at full energy. That's right. I ate an energy bar for breakfast that gave me the energy bars I need for the rest of the day. I hope you guys don't mind a long wait. When I get up there, I'm taking it all the way to level 50. Level 50 with your giant head and tiny mouth? <laughs> no way. We won't be waiting long. So, uh, 
What do you guys do while you're down here waiting to get in the game? I am studying the moves of Stinko Man Sensei to achieve great victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah! So, uh... I am... You're still only at level 1-1? One, one. Man, if I were in charge, I'd be all the way to level 10.5, fighting the secret hidden boss, Stickly Man. Strong sword is here, but I'll never be able to reach it stuck down here in the UI. That shockwave must have hit the video games harder than I thought. Everything's broken. Hey, Stinko Man! What do you want? Cool, cool robot boots. I know, I know, I know! They make me jump it real high! Plus, all the girls think I'm a boy, but I think they all need to grow up. And I can kick! Okay, man, shut up! You shut up! You're dumb, and your head is wide like the river! You have the river head! <laughs> cool, cool robot boots! I know, I know, I know! They make me jump it real high! To grow okay! You shut Why did I call you Stinko Man? Seems a little harsh. Why do they call you dumb face? Um, they don't. Is it because your face is dumb and at the same time you have a dumb face? No one calls me that. Maybe they should call you dumb butt face because your face and your butt are both dumb! <laughs> Robots! <laughs> Stinko man it is! Hey, how do I get up there? I need that sword! <laughs> no way! <laughs> you couldn't handle that sword! I'm gonna get that sword for myself, just as soon as I'm finished toying with these guys! Come on, man! That's so not cool! <laughs> One day you'll get your baby turn, for babies who have a turn! I really need that sword! Too bad! <laughs> Did you hear that, George and Brown Tant? He wants the sword! <laughs> Shut up, you guys are dumb! Check out that pinchy guy! That guy looks awesome! I'd hate to get caught in his grip! Ooh, George! <laughs> that guy is so dumb! Ha <laughs> ha, dumb ha! He is a dumb! Well, what about that guy shooting at you? He looks like he could really mess you up, man! Yeah, he wishes on his birthday! George and Brown Tent are level one enemies. They don't offer a significant challenge. Those guys are too slow, too predictable, and too not powerful enough to stop me. I really think those guys could take you. You better let me take over. No way. I'm just messing with them. Like I said, those guys are too slow, too predictable, and too not powerful enough. And um... I better stop talking to you while I still think you're somewhat cool. Hey, I'm there! What? Who said that? Me, down here! Hey, I gotta tell you something! So, hey bro, some sweet energy ball shooting you got going on there. So listen, let's be buds. I just need you to get me that totally gnarly sword over there and... <sighs> oh, great, another one. Look, why can't you guys just speak normally? Oh, I would... I'd have a lot more respect for you if you just stop trying so hard to be cool and talk to me like a human being. But you're a robot. Oh, now you're gonna judge me. I don't have time for this. Okay, let me put it to you this way. I need you to kill Stinko Man so I can get that sword. Okay, see? Now that I understand. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. I mean, I am trying to kill Stinko Man. That's what I do, you know. That's all I do. But I guess he's just too good. Did you know that Stinko Man makes fun of you behind your back? Oh, of course I know. I mean, have you listened to the guy for more than 10 seconds? He's got the brain power of a first grader at nap time. But despite my college education and middle class upbringing, Daytime TV has somehow gotten its hooks into me and made me a sucker for gossip. So, what's he saying about me? He says you're too predictable. 
Really? This for Mr. Run to the right and shoot. Whatever. He said you weren't powerful enough. Uh, are you serious? Last week I hit that guy with one shot, knocked him off a ladder and left him crying for Stinko Mommy. Ain't that right, George? One shot! I saw it! He said you were too slow. What, you mean like moving too slow or shooting too slow? Or if it's moving too slow, well then yeah, I, I agree with him. I basically just sit here and shoot. I guess I could shoot faster though. Well, I'll give that a shot. No pun intended. Hey, Pinchy! Hey, you weren't supposed to talk down there. And don't call me Pinchy. I do have a name, you know. George. Forget that. I got something important to say. You see that sword over there? Why don't you just clamp onto it and bring it over here for me? No, sorry. I can't. I'm only supposed to hurt you guys, not help. Well, you're certainly doing a bang-up job of not helping. Hey, come on, man. That's not fair. I got a job to do here, you know? You see that sword over? No, sorry. Well, you're... So, I was just talking to that Stinko Man guy, and he told me he thinks you guys are wussies. What? Ooh, when I get a hold of him, he'll wish he was never born. What did he say exactly? He said you weren't powerful enough. Oh, yeah? Well, hang on. Let me see if I can increase the power in my pinches. Well? Hang on. Almost. Okay, I think that's got it. Yeah, I can't see any difference. Okay, yeah, they're the same. But he doesn't have to know that. He said you were too slow. Too slow? I'll have you know I took second place for regional sprinting in junior high. His words, not mine. I'm plenty fast. Forget him, man. He says you're too predictable. Seriously? Aw, oh, man, now I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Just going back and forth all the time. Well, maybe if I change up my moves a bit, like this. Take that, pattern recognition! Hey, what is going on here? You guys are ganging up on me! Too predictable, huh? And uh, too slow? Well, how do you like us now? Hey, you guys are cheating! No fair! Cheers! Yeah, you made my stummy hurt! Hey, that was pretty good. Did you alter your pattern? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, well, how about you, huh? I saw that rapid-fire action. Pretty sweet. Thanks. Hey, you want to take off early? Get some cold ones? I'm so freaking lootly. Yes! It's broken. Hey, Strongman, why don't you just jump down? Uh, because I prefer to use the ladder. Is it because of your tiny legs? No. I mean, I could probably just do a quadruple fudge backflip and land on my feet, but I don't want to. Someone put that ladder there for a reason, and I'm gonna use it. But it's broken. Then I'll fix it. Now go away! Okay, tiny legs. It's gonna be a challenge, but there's gotta be room for Stinko Man 20XT6 somewhere on here. Hey, uh, mister! I think I found some rivets! At least I think they're rivets. I guess they could be grapes. Or nickels. Cool! So you'll join my party? That's what I'm talking about! Oh 
Okay, mister, fix it! Keep building till you hit the Cloud Kingdom! They keep all the cool stuff hidden away above the high score! It's Stinko Man's spiky Japanese cartoon hair! So blue and luxurious, without using any product! A ladder that big has to go somewhere cool! What the... The ladder is a lie. This place is a dump! How am I supposed to get across to get the trunk sword when everything around here is broken? Here you go, Mr. Fixit! Work your magic! Nice work! Hey, how much would you charge to build a 200-foot wall around Marzipan's house? Three dollars? That's great! Oh, never mind. One more time! Aha! By the power of EGA! Extended memory management! Raster interrupt 6! Hold and modify! And the mighty mode 8! The power of the Trunk Sword is mine! Yeah, you got the sword! Now you can slay the dragon! More importantly, I'll be able to keep you from popping up and interrupting all my future scheduled makeout sessions! Uh, I've got access to your online calendar in here, and I don't see any scheduled makeout sessions. Just pedicures and bubble baths. Yeah, that's code for makeout session! Just get out of here! And quit touching my stuff! The fabled drug sword is mine! Abandon hope, all ye who enter here! None shall pass! Cut it out, Lord Dumpish! I got some dragon to de -res. I can't let you do that, strong bad. Flaming grasp! Hey, quit it! Here. Well done, brave sir. Now let's say you give me a real reward this time. But of course, your reward this time is another quest. The quest for the shimmering trinket of endless bargain hunting. You don't actually have a reward, do you? Experience is so much more valuable than mere loot. Really? Wow! I'm so lucky to have the opportunity to get useless crap for you over and over! Okay, here's that quest thing you sent me out for. Um, are you sure this is the quest item? Of course! It looks just like the thing you showed me. Hmm, I guess you're right. Behold! The quest item is recovered! Oh, man! This is gonna be good! Ah, help! Strong Dad, did you give me scorpion food? Ah, maybe. Oh. Who remembers anymore? Oh. I'm not going over there! It's a lot more fun to watch oh. from right here! Oh. Help! Hey, Pixel Man! My name and physical appearance are rather dashing. Guess what? Your moment of destiny has arrived! The Munchox is attacking the princess! A princess? Oh, right. Huh. Are you sure? Positive, man! Now get your short pants over there and rescue her! Well, I... that is my duty. I suppose I should be off then. 
to rescue the princess. Very well, take me there. <sighs> A trog sword won't work on anything but the trog door. Get this thing away from me! Never fear, O oh fair maiden. I am here to save you. I'm not a princess. I'm an evil wizard. Oh, really? If you're a wizard, then I don't need to save you. Roar! Roar! No, wait. I'm a dual-class wizard princess. See my pretty princess hat? Please help me! Well, if a princess you are, then save you I will. Stand back. Wait, is that scorpion bait you have? Yes! What should I do? Get rid of it, stupid uh, fair maiden! <coughs> wow, saved by a real-life adventurer. I suppose you want me to be in your party now. Well, actually, I was just going and to... I can be your spellcaster, and we could explore the evil salt marshes, and kill orcs, and rats... Actually, I was just going to stand around in the forest, small. Nonsense! I can see it now. I can add bard talents and chronicle our adventures. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Ouch! Poor guy would have done better against Trogdor. There he is! The one with the trog sword! Join him! He'll protect us! No, I won't! No! Hey, get off! Quit that! Okay, fine. You guys can come with me. But don't touch any of my stuff! Well, alright! Where'd he go? Here, Trogdor! Come here, boy! I just got a cool sword I wanted to show you! Crap, he got away. If those screaming peasants were right, his lair's underneath the castle. I'll have to make my way through these seemingly endless hallways to get down to the dungeon and take him out on his home turf. Trogbad, do you read me? According to my intel, Trogdor is at the end of these seemingly endless hallways. Homestar, what are you doing? Just delivering your mission objectives. I already did that just fine without your help. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, can you do this? Hey, cut it out! What did you do to my camera? Man up, soldier. Your free country is depending on you. The people, give them the rundown. One of Trogdor's minions! A fiendishly difficult polynomial equation! Man, how big is this castle? Eat lead! Or tungsten! Or whatever they put in these things! They really should break this place up with a potted plant or something. Bulbs. Perfect ammo for my light musket. So, at last we... Hey, no fair! You're supposed to wait for my speech to end before you go starting any boss fights. All right, let's do this mono e beefy armo.
It's Nebulon! Limousine's second greatest nemesis next to Alternative Rock! I can't send the performing bear out! Quake in fear at the power of metal! Rock on! A secret passage! This'll get me to Trongor twice as fast! Since this castle's like a jillion miles long, apparently. Factor this! Another secret passage! Oh, so you're gonna play dirty, Trogdor? Sending one of your space circus catastrophe clowns at me? Well, Duel can play at that game! Performing Bear, I choose you! Sick him! Be free, Performing Bear! Raised him from a cub. I'm not gonna cry! Another secret passage! All right, let's do this mono e beefy armo. Der Poopsmith, our feet are safe. Finally, I've reached another room that looks just like all the other rooms. Could have at least added a torch or something. <laughs> Trogdor, the fruit of my skills of an artist. And now it comes down to this. The epic battle. The final confrontation. The last cutscene. You've burninated your last present, Trogdork. Trogdor's almost dead. I'm not gonna waste a perfectly good peasant right when I'm about to win the game. Trogdor is impervious to the needlessly creepy. This key only... He won't go for it. That doesn't need healing. That was a little... anticlimactic. Oh, way! Uh, you came to rescue me! Whoa, have you been walking out? How much do you bench? What are you... Whoa! I don't believe it! They finally listened to me! You look pretty whipped. And Mip Map! Check out all these polygons! And this blade! I... I'm the best graphics ever made! Uh, strong bed? I'm kinda having a moment, Homestar. Don't interrupt! Oh. How can I possibly kill a creature with so much majesty and so many repeated textures? Uh, uh oh, I'm screwed. Those pedestals are for offerings to the mighty Trogdor. Homestar, you've been here for hours. Seen any secret levers or anything? Nah, man, it's been pretty chill. Oh, wait. There was this old hooded guy who came in talking about some ancient bloodstone that was the only way to light up the secret weak spots all over Trogdor's body. I told him we didn't need that old thing. 
fantastic! When somebody offers you an ancient dragon-killing relic, you take it! Now where am I gonna find a bloodstone? After you've tasted my blade as the main course, for dessert, how about a little red-flavored fluffy puff translucent dessert-related substance? <laughs> Silly dragon, I'm inflammable! That glowing red spot must be one of Trogdor's weak points. Aha! But I'll never be able to reach the rest of the weak spots unless I get Trogdor to turn around! I don't think Mr. Fixit can fix it. I better not. Trogdor can smell a peasant at like 20 furlongs away. Run! Save yourself! <laughs> Trogdor, look! Defenseless peasant! Take that! Trogdo must have more we Take that! Must have been a load-bearing dragon. This video game reality is caving in all around us and fast! We better find the fast way out of here! And fast! I totally killed Trogdor! Did you see that? Yeah, that's great! Um, how are we gonna get out of this cave before it collapses and kills us both? That's the only way out, but it's locked! That's the Finally! And just in time, too! This cave is gonna collapse at any moment! We better get out of here! Me first! Hang on! I gotta save my game! Uh, 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 nail! Rhino! Rhino feeder! Ah! Are you okay, Strong Bad? I just had the most pixelated dream! And you were there! And you were there! And... Uh-oh. You were there. 